you guys oh my gosh hello i feel like i have not i have not been vlogging properly at all um oh my gosh i've just filmed like three is it one or two three one wait one hmm one Two, three. Yeah, I filmed three videos. Thank God. Right. Okay. So I've got my three videos. So I've got two for next week, and I'm gonna try and get one up tonight. But anyway, um, hi. Welcome back to the vlog. So honestly, this week has been really, really hectic. Um, but I love to do these weekly vlogs because it really is the truth. Like that is literally what's going on. So I don't really know where we finished off. I think it was when I went to an event. So. I went to Batiste event, it was amazing, it was a gym event, um, but if you follow my Instagram you'll know literally what I was saying, that I did feel really out of place, um, there was a lot of people, I mean I'm 26 but there was a lot of younger people and I don't know if there was any other bloggers there, if I missed that slot, like, because there was a lot of slots to go to and I went to the latest one which was like six o'clock at night and it started at quarter past six in the morning so I think the bloggers probably went during the day but I didn't meet anyone and I went on my own and it was really nerve-wracking I'm not gonna lie but like I said on my Instagram it's all about putting yourself out there and putting yourself out of your comfort zone I think that is just the way we grow um, and I feel good, like I feel confident, I'm aching so much from the gym, it was a really intense workout, I will try and insert some clips if I can, but I honestly could not film at all because it was a gym, and we were just constantly like working out, it was a proper hit workout with like a trainer, but yeah, it was a good event, um, I got some products, which I think I've inserted in the video anyway, but I should be able to, but I'll put some pictures or whatever of that. So I got the Cherry Batiste Dry Shampoo to try and the Original Shampoo which is the one I use all the time which I have just packed in my bag. So, what are we doing today? Oh, so today we got up, we went to the shop to get some food bits for next week because we're going away next week. Um, but you'll probably see this after that so we'll be back by then. Um... But yeah, we're going away. We're actually going to like um somewhere in the in the England. So it's gonna be like our first sort of place away for a bit. Um but yeah, we went and got some food, we got some snacks and bits for Olivia, got some alcohol and stuff like that. I had to get a swimming costume, got some swimming bands for Olivia, a ring. I'll show you guys the inflatable stuff in a minute. Um but yeah, I'm really packing right now. I always make a list when it comes to packing um and i've got my list but i always feel like i've got more to add on my list already so that's that so i'm really just going to get on with that today um and then i think liam said he wants to watch a christmas film today and it's september so that's going to be fun but who cares so he wants to watch christmas with the crank so i said i would um <laughs> bless but we've been watching the grinch because olivia loves it so i think that's why we've been getting into it a bit early but i know it's a bit too early but anyway, I just wanted to share with you guys, I've just filmed a video on this powder from Maybelline. So, I think I've been telling you guys, but I've really been struggling with mask knee. Um, I had a huge, you probably can see, but here, all here, and here, was just like a huge breakout, which I have managed to sort out. But oh my gosh, it was so bad, and it was obviously from the mask and stuff, and it was literally the worst thing ever. It was really getting me down and I just felt like I was covering it up every single day. And you know when you put foundation on like an area that's all spotty, it doesn't look good. It dries up and, and you get like a dry scab foundation look and it's really not attractive. So I've stopped foundation altogether unless I'm reviewing it or just wearing it for one occasion or whatever. But I now I'm trying something new. So I went on TikTok and I was like looking at like what people do for makeup and things, just interested and I found that some people just wear a heavy moisturiser and a powder. So I saw this woman, she was using a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. And it's actually quite pricey. So I looked for a dupe and I found this Fit Me um, Maybelline Matte and Poreless Powder. And it's in the shade Caramel because I'm doing some tanning and things. Which I really need to show you guys actually. So I got a 
Oops. I got a parcel from Skinny Tan in PR. They're so kind over there. So I have used some products, so they're not like fresh. Um, but I got this mitt, which I've used. <laughs> I got this mitt. I got, I need to show you some other stuff. It's downstairs. But I got the Skinny Tan Coconut Water Serum, which I'm really interested in trying. And then I got this Coconut Water Tanning Mist, which is for your face and your body. Again, looks really good. A back applicator, which is fun. And then an exfoliator mitt. Um, and then I got the Wonder Serum, which is over there. And I got the face tanning drops as well. So they sent a bunch across. So basically what I'm trying to do is just work on keeping my body and my face more tanned. And then I'm just going to put that powder on. Because that powder is in a lot darker shade than I would usually go for. And that's why I need to keep my face tanned. But I'm really loving it. I feel like... I look really healthy and glowy and yeah I'm really loving it but I do need to shower because I've got such a bad tanning mistake going on there um and I also need to get my hair booked in for a tone I think because it's starting to look a little brassy so so I need to I've just used this palette for a YouTube video so I'm not taking that one but I know that I'm definitely taking my powder I'm definitely taking my mascara, I'm definitely taking my blush lighter, I'm going to take a primer, I'm going to take a foundation just in case, but I don't think I'll be wearing it. I'm definitely taking my Revolution oil, I'm taking my lip gloss, I'm literally taking pretty much everything here. My brow glue, I'm going to take this highlighter as well, I'm going to take that moisturiser, I'm going to take my tripod, I've got so much here, I need to go for all my brushes as well. So we're using these big like Nike holdall things, um, my cat is laying on my clothes, that's fantastic. Um, hey Shnids. So I'm taking this palette, this is my favourite go-to everyday palette, this is the I Heart Revolution Party Pooches. So this is the palette that I'm going to take because it's got really great shades in there. I love that copper shade called, what's that called? Bone Appetit because it's dogs. So I'm taking that. I'm also taking my Benefit Foroscope palette. Um, these are some socks that we got Olivia so they need to go in her bag. I also just bought some socks for myself because I've literally got no matching sodden socks. This is one of the shampoos that I got which I'm going to take with me. The Batiste Original Dry Shampoo. Such a good dry shampoo. The makeup bag I'm using is this. And I love it. It is from TK Maxx. Why is there a sticker on it still? Fantastic. Um, but I'm going to pack all of my makeup in here. Um, so. Put that in there. Put that in there. Um... I better take this nail varnish that she's worn. I've got on, but I might have to top it up. I'm gonna take that. I don't think that's gonna fit. Oh, it will fit. This bag is so good. So, what do we have in here that I might want to take? I don't want to take any of that. I don't think. But I do want to take that lip liner and that brush. Um. Okay. I need to take this hair oil. I don't want to take that. I need to keep my batteries. I need to charge them. I don't want to take that. I will take the primer actually and I'll take that foundation just in case. I need to take my tripod for sure. Moisturisers, lip glosses. I need to take all of that. Is this bag going to be big enough? <laughs> I need to take this and this and this. Um... And I'm definitely taking my eyelash curlers. I use them every day. I need to take my big powder brush. I hope this fits. <laughs> I need to take my beauty blender. I need to take this bronzing brush. And I need an eyeshadow brush. I'll take that one. And my brows. Definitely taking that. I need that. So this is the costume I've got. It's one of them like cover up kind of ones. So you obviously you've got your bum and bit there and then this like little skirt that goes over and then it's like that and then it ties around your neck so it's one of them like ones hopefully helps with like your tummy and stuff because i have got a mum tum so i've got that i need to try that on make sure that's good but i'm gonna go and get all this sorted and then i'll be back i've got my favorite wine for next week 
we're staying in like a lodge. Um, got Olivia's chocolate spread. Um, I wanted to show you these armbands that we got for her. So we've got the kettles on. Peppa Pig swim ring. And then we got these armbands. How cute! Can't wait. So a little PR has arrived from Estrid. I took it out of its box, but I'll show you guys. This is a vegan razor brand. And I love, love, love their razors. So I've got a pink one, but now I've got this nice like salmon orange one. So you get two um, razor head things. And it's really like strong and sturdy. And then you get a little bit that you, a little thing that you stick on the wall. And you pop your razor in like that. So it's like up on the wall. It's really, really good. So thank you, Estrid, for sending that across. I got in my pajamas. I tried the costume on. I got in my pajamas because I'm tired now. <laughs> um, so more cozy. Um, Olivia's asleep. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed and. We shall see you another time. Say bye. So where do you go? Bye. Bye.